concerns. So why would someone use a letter of credit in general just to reduce that risk and help them mitigate any possible pitfalls along the way? Right. You know, a lot of people think that letters of credit are complicated and, and time consuming and expensive. And, you know, they can be, but we, we try to make it easier for all of our customers. And really, that's a nice way to think about it. If, if you have foreign customers paying you under a letter of credit, a lot of exporters don't realize they can have any bank in the USA review those documents for them. What typically happens is an overseas bank will issue a letter of credit. They'll send it to their partner bank in the United States. Let's say it's J.P. Morgan Chase or Wells Fargo. And then typically that's in New York. And they will contact the shipper and say, I already have these documents for you. Why don't you just let me review these documents and process them for you? But in reality, that exporter can say, thank you very much. No, I prefer to have my own bank review the documents on my behalf. Please send those to Commerce Bank or whoever you're working with. Okay. So if, 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 but what we tell them is that you you want a bank reviewing the documents on the exporter's behalf, not a bank that is working on the buyer's behalf. Sure. So we can trust. But yeah, buyers and sellers that are unknown to each other, a lot of times will want to use letters of credit and buyers and sellers whose credit relationship is faltered. If you've given someone an open account, you can no longer trust them because of something, you might want to move back to a letter of credit. And then, you know, sellers who want to increase export sales, and I think we'll talk about that a little bit later in the, um, the webinar, but that's a, it's a key factor in using letters of credit. And then uh, buyers who want credit terms. A lot of times, a buyer will say, I want 30, 60, 90 days, and we can do that on a letter of credit, but also discount and pay the buyer, or the shipper, before that time comes up. 